there, little kitty. Why aren't you working on the new science project? Kitty likes most important thing, resources. Oh, resources, huh? Well, let me tell you a story about someone who had even less but still changed the world with his curiosity and determination. I'm talking about none other than the legendary Michael Faraday. So, let's zoom in. Born on September 22nd, 1791, into a poor family in London, Michael Faraday's early life was far from easy. His father, a blacksmith, often fell ill and couldn't work regularly. While his mother, a wise and patient woman, did her best to manage the household. With four children to care for, the family often struggled to make ends meet. So at the age of 13, Faraday had to leave school to help support his family and found his first job as a delivery boy for a local book binder. But little did Faraday know this job would change his life forever as this is a place where his curiosity began to bloom. Yes, surrounded by books, Faraday took the opportunity to read about science, sparking a lifelong passion for learning and discovery. So in 1812, when Faraday was 21, a customer at the bookshop, impressed by his dedication to science, offered him a ticket to attend a series of lectures by Sir Humphrey Davy, one of the most famous scientists of the time. The lectures left Faraday awestruck. He took detailed notes, bound them into a neat book and sent them to Davy along with a letter asking for a job. Davy was so impressed by Faraday's dedication and passion that he soon hired him as his assistant, an opportunity that changed the course of Faraday's life. A year later, in 1813, Faraday was invited to join Davy and his wife on an 18-month European tour. During the trip, Faraday met many influential scientists, expanding his knowledge and connections in the scientific world. After returning to England in 1815, Faraday resumed his work at the Royal Institution, helping Davy and other scientists with their experiments. Then over the next few years, Faraday began to make his own groundbreaking discoveries and he published his work on electromagnetic rotation in 1821, which laid the foundation for the electric motor. Later, in 1826, Faraday founded the Royal Institution's Friday Evening Discourses and the famous Christmas Lectures, both of which continue to this day. These lectures made science exciting and accessible to the public and Faraday soon became known as one of the greatest scientific lecturers of his time. Faraday's most important breakthrough came in 1831 when he discovered electromagnetic induction, the principle behind the electric transformer and generator. This discovery was a turning point, transforming electricity from a mere curiosity into a powerful new technology that would change the world. Though Faraday continued to make important contributions to science, unfortunately, his health began to decline in the early 1840s. He slowed down his research and spent his last years at a house in Hampton Court, a home provided to him by the government in recognition of his extraordinary contributions to science. Then on August 25th, 1867, after a long struggle with health issues, Michael Faraday passed away, leaving behind a legacy 
that continues to influence the world today. His life is a testament to the power of curiosity, hard work and a passion for discovery, proving that anyone can achieve greatness no matter their beginnings. Trivia time! Did you know Michael Faraday invented the rubber balloon? Also, Einstein regarded Faraday as a personal hero. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Juliana Celine Tan. Hope you felt inspired today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. <laughs> oh, never mind.